in Oklahoma City has been arrested for threatening to carry out a mass shooting in San Antonio just days after 59 people were killed and more than 500 others injured in the Las Vegas shooting massacre. Now, Roderick Lamar Robinson, 39, who posted the threats on his Facebook page Tuesday night, has been charged with a terrorism hoax under Oklahoma law and faces a charge in Bexar County of making terrorist threats. Now, Robinson threatened to kill all patrons on North Main Avenue, San Antonio, which is reportedly a hub for the city's LGBTQ community. It's war, bitches, and no one is safe on the Strip, wrote Robinson, who goes by Rod Lamar on the social networking site. He went on to threaten that he would do more than what happened at the Country Music Festival in Las Vegas, which, of course, is the deadliest gun massacre in modern U.S. history. Now, more than 300 people had shared the distressing warning by Wednesday morning, most of which were to warn their San Antonian friends to avoid the area. Now, Robinson later posted an apology on his page, saying that he regrets what he said and that there is nothing to worry about. Oh, gosh, that's good. Ugh. Anyway, nothing to worry about. I'm so in love with the San Antonio Strip, I regret what I said, he wrote. Can't you folks see that I wish I could come back and cry and tell all of you how much I miss you and love you? I'm so for real when dreams are broken and makes us say all kinds of things, he went on to write. Sometimes we have to take a moment and think about what we say before we say it, sir. Um, I know it hurts when dreams are broken. A lot of my dreams have been broken. I'm sure we've all suffered broken dreams, but... No excuse. No excuse. You don't make threats like this, folks. Anyway, uh, I will leave you a link to this article. And when it comes to links, please check out the link to my new fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. It's a story about what you see and what you don't see going on in America right now and around the world. Uh, the deep state, the hackers, the, the interplay inside the White House. Basically, folks, is this. If you live in in America, you are a character in this story. I'll leave you a link to that, plus a, a link to a free read of Chapter 1, which is called Fake News. You can go ahead and read that on my blog site if you like. Read it a hundred times, but uh, that's there, as well as a link to some of my music. Now, folks, I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please, this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you would. I would greatly appreciate it. But most importantly, most of all, folks, no matter what, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and let his perfect peace that transcends all understanding guard your heart and mind. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you next time around.